Hello dear friend. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and another video about Squarespace, today's video, I will explain to you how to create a events tutorial in Squarespace website, you can add events as you wish. For example, here I will create an event for a 30 day course. Users can attend online courses via a Zoom meeting, that I will place link address on the access button. Ok, let's start the video. First, open the Squarespace dashboard in the Pages section. Click Pages. Select Events. Choose the best template. For example, rename page to course. This is an event page that we can edit as a wish. We can add event, by click add button. Edit the new event. Add event name. Enter the date and time for the event. Click save. Next, enter a description of the event. Set it as you wish. Add an event photo at the top. Edit to make it look better. You can also add a button, for event access. Add other accessories like lines. You can customize according as you wish. Click save. Then click exit. Click here. Select settings. Add thumbnail image. Enter a short description here. Add other rules as you wish. Change the event status to published, so it will appear on the website page. We can add tags also here. Under SEO, you would want to give a SEO title. Something that is going to attract your ideal client, something they're likely to search for give it a description. This is similar to the excerpt be sure to include keywords. Now, your social image is just an alternative image that shares out on social media now. Because events a collection item it tends to pull from the thumbnail. First so it's likely to show your thumbnail image. Before it shows, this alternative social sharing image. But you can add this here. If you want so, if we come up to content, this would be the image that it shares out speaking of sharing. If you have connected your social media accounts, you can click the toggle on. They will appear here. Toggle will appear allowing you to click them on, and that means, that when you publish the event, they will automatically be shared out to your social media channels, 
and location. If you are running your workshop at a physical location, you definitely want to add that in there. Not only is it good for search engine optimization, it helps people navigate exactly where to go. You know gives them some point of direction now. If you are running an event on Zoom or something similar to Zoom. In the next step, we can edit the event page page. Click edit. Change name and header photo. Choose a photo that fits your course field. Click save to save. Click exit. To change the page event rules, we can click on this button. This is going to bring up your event list settings, so under general just make sure everything's ok. The page title navigation, the URL slag make sure you're enabling the page. So people can access it. If at any point you want to give a password to limit, who can access this page. You can do that here under CO again. You would give a title description social image here. You would add a social image in here by default. It's going to show your site social image, and then under advanced, you can if you've given your event categories, and tags you can manage those here, if you want to add code at any point in time. Here is where you would add it. So, say you've bought some kind of plugin. You can add the code in here. Just keep in mind you will need a business plan, or hire to do that. Save changes. Closed. For other events you can also make edits. Ok, so this is the appearance of the event page that we have created. Ok my friend, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to get more information about Blogger. See you on next video.